Okay, here we are at the CHS LMC Resources main page. Um, we are looking for a new worksheet that I've added to the Research Basics folder. Um, it is a guide to advanced web searching or advanced internet searching that you can use for um, research. So resources. Research guides, research basics folder right at the top here. I have my basics guide, question brainstorm worksheet, keyword worksheet. And this is the advanced internet searching worksheet. What I recommend doing when you get this is that you'll have to add it to your drive, make it um, that you can work on it or make a copy for yourself, similar to what we did with the other searching. So file, make a copy, rename it, and have it for your drive. Let me know if there's any issues on accessing these Google Docs. This is the worksheet that we'll be using alongside the keyword worksheet that we previously worked on. Okay guys, let's take a look at how we can use our previous keyword worksheet that we completed with our topic in question about the Holocaust um, and use it in our advanced web searching worksheet. So you see at the very top, it has, what is your research topic or question, keywords or phrases. So we'll be completing this before we get into the advanced search tech tips. So what is your research topic or question? We can go ahead, we can take this, we can copy, And we can just paste it right in here. We'll just paste it right over these lines that are in here. And paste without formatting so it leaves us. So there we go. We have our question right there. And then we can use some of our, what are our keywords or phrase back? We have our main three keywords, our most important nouns that we can use. So we can do Holocaust. Semitism. Europe as our main keywords or phrases. We can take some of the related words and synonyms that we have used here um, and just add a couple terms in here. We will throw in uh, World War II um, concentration concentration camps. Um, maybe European countries, specific ones. We can do maybe anti-Jewish. That would be good. Just throw in a couple extra terms here, maybe between, um, you know, uh, five and six extra terms that you can do. So that's how you can kind of begin um, the advanced web searching, you pull your stuff from your keyword chart and bring it over here. So as you go through the rest of the steps, you can add and remove things and try out the techniques. Okay, let's take our advanced web searching worksheet out into the wilds of the internet and see what kind of search results we can get. Um, I did a recent survey um, for 11th grade just to see where kids study search. And most of the time it begins right here at a search. Typically it will be Google. So what the worksheet does is that it walks us through the Boolean operators in the search term. This is an old school searching, um, basically with the, with the operator, Boolean operators, and, or, or not. 
that can expand, limit, um, and do some different kind of, um, give you different results as you search. So what we could start with is we can actually try to type in our actual question because that's what we have available um, when using something like Google, you know, or talking to Siri, we can actually ask, ask it a question. So let's type in our full question here. I just copied and pasted it and let's just see how Google responds to that. Okay, so even doing it like that, it didn't really give us much. It kind of has some results, but let's now use the advanced techniques and see if we can differentiate our results or if we get something different. So what the worksheet will ask us to do is it's limiting our search by adding and. So well, let's take our um, first string of keywords we'll do we'll just do all three we'll do holocaust and anti-semitism and europe so we'll go back in here we'll go back to google and we'll do holocaust and anti-semitism and europe so we're linking all of these together So it's just, uh, our results are a little bit different here. History of anti-Semitism definitions, anti-Semitism in Europe before the Holocaust. That could be interesting um, because our question was, how does the Holocaust represent a culmination of historical anti-Semitism in Europe? So this one looks like it could be pretty good. Um, we have a Wikipedia entry, the Brit.com entry, so we can look at those results there. And that is with our basic keywords, including the and Boolean operator. But the next Boolean operator tip that we're gonna look at is or, so which it expands our search a little bit. So we can add or between terms. And I think what we'll do is we will look at um, Anti-Jewish and anti-Semitism, those can kind of be interchanged. So our, our new one would be maybe anti-Semitism or anti-Jewish in Europe. We'll, we'll change it up a little bit. Let's see what our results look like if this. Okay, a little different here. Um, some of the some similar results here. Um, we can also add in Europe, maybe during World War II. We'll add it a little bit more. This is kind of how you play around with it. History. Okay, yeah, it seems good. Outbreak of World War II and anti-Jewish policy. So we did get a little bit of a different hit when we added the or and anti-Jewish in there. Okay. And you can kind of play around with this. Now type in or. What did you type in? Why is there a difference? There's the exact phrases. This is the next step, which will include um, adding quotations around results. So when searching for an exact phrase, so maybe we just want to do the, the whole anti-Semitism in Europe during World War II. We'll do that exact phrase and we'll see what kind of results we get. So it's asking us to do it. It's mostly the same results. So some of these um, might change a little bit. So we got we got a little different hits here. So you just have to pick out and look for just little tips and tricks that you can do 
throughout your searching. And these can be applied to um, databases as well, but we'll just be taking a look at how our results differ when we do these different little Boolean operators. Um, and in the next video, we're going to be looking at evaluating the information that we find. I'm not going in looking at, okay, here's the Britannica one. Let's take a look at that. We're going to analyze um, results in the next Research Basics video, which will be evaluating online information.